Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Atmir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Tuesday, the 5th of January. Apologies for so many stocks today, but it takes longer to whittle them down than it is uh, to just uh, go through them. Anglesey Mining is the first contender, and here we've broken uh, mid December neckline resistance at uh, 7 pence while we're above that. On an end-of-day close basis, looking towards that November resistance line projection, currently pointing to 15 pence. Hopefully that could be seen as soon as the end of next month. At this stage, only well below the 20-day line, around 6 pence, really delaying the upside scenario. But hopefully we won't even go back below the 7 pence level. On to Avacta, which uh, I know has its... uh, fundamental fans and uh, interesting to see the shares at the moment with the break back above the uh, 200 day the sharply rising 200 day moving average which is a plus and that's also the area of the 50 day line at 129 uh, above 129 on an end of day close basis after we broke that um, November resistance line at 120 yesterday looking forward hopefully to the top of that rising uh, November trend channel uh, initially at one pound sixty. Uh, hopefully as soon as the end of this month. A stock which I'm very happy to see uh, go up at the moment and looks like it's breaking out is uh, Bidstack. Uh, The reason for that is the uh, perpetual uh, knocking of the uh, company by the bears. I don't seem to want to give up on this one, but uh, happily uh, the stock is uh, hitting new highs at the moment and new near-term highs anyway. And uh, after that gap we had through the 50-day moving average, which is uh, normally a pretty reliable uh, technical buy signal. View of this stage is that uh, while there's no end of day close back below uh, late uh, December resistance at 7.9 pence, we could head up towards the uh, top of the August trend channel as high as 13 pence by the end of the month. Uh, if you're a fan of the shares and uh, want to dream of uh, an even bigger target, then probably that would be up towards. Uh, that July resistance line projection currently pointing around uh, the 18 or 19 pence level, hopefully by the end of next month. But uh, I suppose let's just see if we can get up to uh, the uh, 12 or 13 pence area first, uh, given how long it's taken for the shares to uh, resurrect themselves uh, since uh, the end of 2019. Uh, copper obviously very hot at the moment, and uh, it's difficult to sort of narrow down how many, uh, which is the best stock to. Uh, get exposure to it. Uh, one of the um, better ones at the moment looks to be um, Castillo Copper, uh, we, where we've had a, a gap through a falling wedge, which was in place uh, since, I suppose, uh, the end of August. Uh, the view at this stage is that uh, while we're above the 50-day line at 2.44 pence, uh, looking towards the top of that broadening triangle from August as high as 4.5 pence, uh, hopefully by the end of January. Another stock which is a decent mining play uh, and has been for quite a while is uh, Empire Metals. uh, Rising trend channel here on the daily chart from July. It's taken quite a long time to consolidate over November, December, but it looks like we're finally on our way now. And uh, the longer we stay above uh, that uh, mid-December peak at 3.45 pence uh, on an end-of-day close basis, the greater the chance of a move towards 5.5 pence, hopefully, uh, this will be seen by the end of this month, and then after that we can uh, go on to higher levels uh, above five and a half. Uh, hopefully, that w- then we could then uh, head up towards eight pence, which is an April resistance line projection. But obviously, uh, that's for later in the year. A uh, stock which I managed to miss out on looking at uh, until now, I think, is um, Eden Research. Uh, vertical move over the last week or so, very, very impressive, uh, even more impressive given the way that we had uh, gap through a rising 50-day moving average uh, around um, the 18th of December, uh, breaking uh, October resistance at uh, around the 9 pence level. But uh, the key now is that we hold above uh, old resistance from, from, for the shares from uh, back in 2018, 2019 at 13 three quarter pence. Above that, we're looking towards, hopefully, uh, a move up to the top of the rising 2019 uh, price channel, currently promising a target as high as 23 pence, hopefully, by the end of February. So above 13, let's say, up to 23 pence by the end of next month. Uh, Another stock which hasn't had much airplay here is um, mining minerals and metals, uh, but uh, gets it today on the basis of the... uh, decent gap to the upside that we've had uh, through uh, the neckline area around 8 pence and uh, 
Well, at least while we're above that, looking forward to hopefully uh, the shares hitting the top of a rising trend channel from the beginning of last month, promising a 22 pence target, hopefully by the end of February. So above 8 pence up to 22 or 23 pence uh, for mining minerals and metals. Uh, onto a stock which um, used to be known as uh, Mysis with the old uh, uh, with the old uh, code that it had. They recycled the code for uh, uh, for this one, but Microsaic Systems is the name now and the company now. And uh, re- interesting here, I like uh, uh, well what seems to work well is a bear trap gap reversal uh, as a signal, and that's what we looks like we're going to have here. The uh, uh, bear trap uh, down below 0.1 pence uh, in the middle of last month, and then. Uh, hopefully an end of day close today above 0.35 pence above the uh, top of the gap if we get that then we're looking hopefully to a one pence target at the top of the august broadening triangle uh, if you're cautious on the stock maybe wait for a break of that october resistance line at 0.4 but i think 0.35 plus uh, should do the trick for the shares and uh, the stop loss then would be uh, around 0.25 if you can afford it which is the bottom of the gap uh, one pence target hopefully by uh, sometime in march for micro sake uh, on to another stock which um, is looking very encouraging at the moment uh, metals expiration breaking uh, neckline resistance uh, from november around the uh, 1.8 pence level and while we're above that on an end of day close basis looking up towards the top of that wide uh, trend channel from uh, the earlier uh, the sort of the middle of last year currently promising four pence hopefully again sometime during the course of march uh, just a few to go now one which uh, i didn't look at yesterday I chickened out i wanted to see a bit more evidence of strength but uh, ovaco bio uh, easily breaking through 10 pence which is what i was waiting for and uh, above that looking hopefully to an initial target over the next couple of weeks up to the top of that October broadening triangle at 14 pence. Uh, after that, uh, probably a much bigger target towards 18.20, which is uh, where we were over the course of the summer. But uh, the upside valid, at least while we hold above the 10 pence area on, um, on Ovica. On to uh, another mining play. And uh, here we have um, Oriole Resources uh, breaking neckline resistance at 0.5 pence. Hopefully, while we're above that, looking towards that September resistance line projection at one pence, uh, ideally that would happen by the end of next month. And that looks possible given the way that shares are going and all the near-term moving averages are currently rising. Uh, stock which has uh, had quite a lot of coverage here, but uh, back again with a nice uh, break to the upside, Ormond Mining. Uh, above uh, that broken resistance line there from October at 2.2 pence, uh, we're looking for further upside hopefully up to the October resistance line projection at three three and a half pence. And uh, that should be seen easily by the end of this month. And then we can obviously review uh, the upside target there. couple to go now. First is uh, Quadrise, uh, where uh, you can see that uh, we've broken that uh, September resistance line and neckline resistance at two and a half pence. Above two and a half pence on an end of day close basis, we're looking towards the top of the August trend channel at five pence hopefully as soon as the end of next month uh, only really back below the 50-day line 2.06 really delaying uh, or cancelling the upside scenario finishing off uh, with the uh, stock of the moment arguably uh, remote monitored systems uh, we had that uh, resistance line there from november as a, a target there when we were trading around 1.2 1.3 something like that uh, that's uh, now been hidden uh, as has the 50 day moving average at uh, 2.3 pence so uh, uh, that has worked out well after a rather shaky start uh, the view at this stage is that while we're above two pence uh, we there's no reason why we shouldn't at least retest uh, the uh, three to three and a quarter uh, pence area which is resistance on the way down and then hopefully uh, by the end of next month up to uh, the top of the rising trend channel from october and retesting the best levels of uh, november uh, through the six to seven pence area but uh, all of that valid at least while we remain above uh, the two pence area that's it for me today more updates tomorrow thank you for listening remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com